So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take apart this hard disk drive uh, that was used uh, for a couple of years. That is a uh, Western Digital 320 gigabytes. Uh, actually, it's a little bit less, so you know the drill. So to unscrew it, you have to use the Torx type uh, screws, uh, not, not screws, but the instrument. Here it is. So to unscrew it, you have to use a Torx T T8 screwdriver. It's quite hard to work with one hand. So the first thing I'm gonna do when uh, I unscrew this is that I'm going to connect it to the PC so that virtually version hard disk drive could be seen working the inards of it. Of course the YouTube is full of these videos but I guess a lot of you have disassembled dead disks but uh, not all of us made videos of it I don't know maybe it will be worth someone out there maybe for educational purposes so what I did actually I've bought this uh, I don't know how to call them uh, this English not my native language well this ends for the screwdriver I bought them four of them actually the six seven eight and nine T's, all T's. So here we go. I guess I have unscrewed everything. So what I have here is a Buffalo external bay that I actually uh, have taken uh, also apart. Uh, so to work with this better, I guess it's a little bit easier because I can connect any hard disk drive I want so there we go USB and now to connect well, firstly we're gonna remove the cap so it's a little bit tight as you can see quite a problem to take it off actually well I would be surprised if it would be very easy to take off so I'm going to take a, another screwdriver here to help me to at least help ease the process so off we go really hard to film with one hand and working with another. <sighs> yep, here we go. A semi-dead hard disk drive. Again, a Western Digital. So, here you have it. So, let's connect it. So, we have here the filter. It's uh, it has three discs, and um, upon testing this hard disk drive, I came up with the conclusion that it was dead because of a because of a mal malfunctioning uh, reading head. So oh, here we go and connect. Up. Yep, there you see it, it's more functioning. 
and stopping because it's not working properly. So if I disconnect it, reconnect it again, it should boot up. Notice uh, that the this controller in the bay haven't stopped working, it's still working. Actually it hang up, it, it, it's in a state uh, of not responding. So actually uh, when I use this drive, as you can see here, uh, by the way, you see, you see the bits of dust. The bits of dust actually got into the disk, disk drive. So this uh, might be actually the cause of the drive to stop malfunctioning. So, yeah. That's quite a squeaky sound. Again. So, the sound indicates the sound indicates that the heads use a thin layer of uh, air when working so maybe also that the state of the bay indicates it uh, normally you would have the heads uh, sitting somewhere here actually um, but western digital has done something something really else. As you can see, the operating system haven't found the disk. As you can see, nothing there. Nothing is training you. Well, it's, it's still spinning. It's still trying to figure out something. Well, uh, to me it's pretty much dead. So, fortunately, new disks aren't... Uh, well, they aren't cheap, but uh, they aren't as price as they used to be so this is it thank you